Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. David and I enjoy entertaining and having our friends and family over. We like throwing theme parties with decorations, food and music. There are a few countries in North Africa that I love experimenting with their spices, food and cooking vessels. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my African lamb tagine. Hmm. With an amazing exotic rub, this dish is incredibly delicious. It can be served with white rice, saffron rice or couscous with flatbread. This tagine recipe will definitely be a flavorful conversation piece for your guests. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, we'll make the rub. So in a mixing bowl, we'll combine smoked paprika, ground cumin, ground ginger, ground sumac, which is an amazing spice to have in your kitchen, then razal hanout, another great spice, also ground turmeric, ground cinnamon, some cayenne pepper, and of course, freshly ground black pepper. We'll blend the ingredients very well before sprinkling it on the lamb cubes. We'll stir everything until the meat is well coated. Then we'll cover and transfer to the fridge for 24 hours, or at least 18. Here's the next day, and we're ready to cook. So this is my tagine, and we'll place a diffuser so the heat is less direct. Now, if you don't own this cooking vessel, it's okay. Simply use a saucepan. To whichever we own, we'll add olive oil and set the heat on medium. When it gets hot, we'll add the onions and cook for two minutes. Then we'll add garlic and saute for only one minute before adding our lamb cubes. I'm telling you, the smell of this rub is incredible. So we'll cook the meat for about 15 minutes, stirring frequently. We don't want to burn either the lamb or the spices. But 10 minutes later though, we'll add the tomatoes and continue stirring for another five minutes. Next, we'll pour in one cup of chicken broth and add brown sugar, pomegranate molasses. Now, if you want to get this recipe, click on the top right corner of your screen. Then we'll also add mint flakes, some saffron, a pinch of ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll stir the ingredients and increase the heat to medium high. Now, this is an optional ingredient but highly recommended, dried fruits. It can be either sultanas, raisins, figs, or currants. It really gives a nice flavor to the dish. All right, so when the mixture just starts to simmer, we'll cover and reduce the heat to medium low. We'll let it simmer gently for 30 minutes, stirring often. During this time, if it needs more liquid, we'll add a little chicken broth. While it's cooking, we'll toast the slivered almonds in a small skillet over medium heat. We'll shake them often, as they can burn quickly. And when they are done, we'll set them aside. Back to the tagine. After half an hour, our dish should be ready to serve. I had to add half a cup of chicken broth just enough so the ingredients don't stick at a bun, leaving me with a beautiful sauce to dip flatbread in. So we'll put the lid on and remove the tagine from the heat. It can be placed on a dining table and everyone can serve themselves. Just don't forget to sprinkle our toasted slivered almonds on top and finish it with fresh chopped cilantro. And my friends, this is how African lamb tagine. 
If you like to experiment in the kitchen with new styles, new ways of cooking and differently new flavors, this tagine is the perfect dish to make. So at your next dinner party, serve this delicious meal. It will be a great conversation piece. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit. Thank <laughs> you.